tap 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 listen devil come to me with a deal him say sign and say if you're not boss next week hear me answer the man you don't know and next better than i represent you know big stone television you know so just keep it locked a big stone of the real big man you see me i say me now nah sell out for your custom car now nah sell out for your bus down rolly big stone television nesbet salute Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to another Gone Too Soon. We're talking about Jamaican artists or producers who have left us too early before actually living out the fulfillment of their life. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about Clyde Bright. But the world wouldn't know a Clyde Bright. But if we say these words, ring the alarm, then we're talking about Tenessa. Now, who was Tenessa? Well, Clyde Wright was his name, and he was born in the Victoria Jubilee Hospital in Kingston, Jamaica. Wright was raised as the fourth of six children in the Painland, Marbley, and Olympic Gardens areas of West Kingston before the family settled in Duaney Park. Bright had a religious upbringing and sang in the Seventh-day Adventist Church of God Choir in Olympic Gardens. Seeking to make it as a recording artist, Bright approached several of Kingston producer after being rejected by several others. George Pan gave the youngster a chance. His first single, Roll Call, was recorded in 1984 for Pan's powerhouse label on the Queen Majesty reading. He moved on with his friend Nitty Gritty to work with Sugar Minot, Youth Promotion Sound System and Black Roots Records label, having its in Jamaica with lots of sign, Pumpkin Belly, Run Come Call Me and Fever. His most successful single, however, was Ring the Alarm voice over the Stagalag rhythm for Winston Riley Techniques label. The single Success Saw Tennessee work with King Jammy recorded Pumpkin Belly on Jammy then New Slang Ten rhythm. Further it's followed in 1986 with Golden Hen on the Uptempo label and Minot Isha Tennessee debut album Fever that year. In common with most dancehall albums of the period, most of the rhythms were a digital adaptation of older tunes from the 1960s and 1970s, usually produced originally by Cox and Dad or Duke Reed. Thus, Shirley Jones is based on the Rougher Yet rhythm, named after Keith Slim Smith, Rougher Yet, and Eeny Meeny Miny Mo uses the real rock rhythm from Studio One while roll call versions the techniques Queen Majesty from Duke Reed and lots of sign using the bass line of Tonight by Keaton Tex 
produced by Derek Ariad. By the time the album was released, Tennessee had relocated to Miami, joining the Skendan crew, where he recorded Dancehall Feeling and Bad Boys. He recorded No Work on a Sunday by Donovan Germain before moving to New York where he recorded with Fred McGregor, Victor Train. His last recording, Chill Out, Chill Out, was a duet with General Doggy. In August 1988, he was killed by a motor vehicle in Houston, Texas, with the official cause of death determined as a case of hit and run accident, although other sources insist that he was murdered. He died at 21 years of age. Tennessee is regarded as one of the most influential singers of the early digital reggae era of the mid 1980s. Tennessee, Clyde Bright, as he was born and named, died at an early age. Can you imagine if Tennessee had lived out his full potential? Where the dance hall would have been today? Nothing but great beautiful sound and melodies coming from his powerful voice. I want to take this time out also and big up my friend George Pang from Powerhouse Record Label because it was George who saw the potential after a lot of producers shun him, push him to the curve, didn't do nothing for him. But George believed in the youngsters as he's doing here today in 2022. George, my hat's off to you, man. Thank you for bringing the powerful Taylor Saw to the fore so that dance all can enjoy some of the greatest music. He went definitely too early, a young man of 21 years old. But guess what? He left in a short time on this earth a legacy of music that we will cherish for like that. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and share this video. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, now is the time to do so. Ring the alarm.